We just watched Maria Sharapova back on the court at the World Team Tennis Smash Hits event in Las Vegas. And it looks like we are going to be seeing a lot more of this little lady moving forward as well. Sharapova has officially been cleared to get back on the court in April. The Court of Arbitration for Sport decided to reduce the harsh two-year doping ban by nine months. As we all know, this case was a massive bombshell. The International Tennis Federation pummeling such a prestigious player with a two-year ban ruling shook everyone up. Players, coaches, spectators, everyone. Her sponsorships dropped like flies, and so did many of her fans. Maldonium, which Sharapova had been taking for quite some time, was added to the World Anti-Doping Agency list of banned substances at the start of 2016 after mounting evidence that it boosted blood flow and enhanced athletic performance. The arbitration panel reduced the ban to 15 months and found that she bore some degree of fault, relying on her agent Max Eisenbud to check the prohibited list for changes and failing to ensure he had done so or to just directly do so herself. But ultimately, that justice had been served and it's time to move forward. Sharapova made a statement hailing this as one of the happiest days of her life, while at the same time also criticizing the ITF, essentially saying that they didn't make the efforts they should have to have made it extremely clear and well known that changes had been made to the banned substances list, which was unfair and in part caused her to pay the price. She said other federations are much better at notifying their athletes of rule changes, especially in Eastern Europe where drugs such as meldonium are taken by millions of people. Sharapova said, I have learned from this and I hope the ITF has as well. Now that this process is over, I hope the ITF and other relevant tennis anti-doping authorities will study what these other federations do so that no other tennis player will have to go through what I went through. And of course, there were some reactions to this statement. American Pam Shriver, a former Grand Slam doubles champion, said on Twitter that Sharapova's statement throws the ITF under the bus. And the ITF also went on to make a statement standing by their ruling and defending themselves saying that the appropriate steps were indeed taken to publicize changes to the banned list. Regardless, Maria Sharapova's days of hitting Coachella and busting a move with Snoop Dogg are quickly coming to an end. It does seem like she was actually able to enjoy this time while it lasted though. I mean, Maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Sharapova has spent her entire life so focused and training day in and day out. Maybe it was a nice little break for her to once in her life just be able to be young and have fun and explore what that life is like. In the World Team Tennis press conference, Billie Jean made a comment to all of us media acknowledging that Sharapova has gotten back to training. Can I say something? She has been training. <laughs> She's not like been sitting around for months. And in response, Sharapova said to her, I never thought I'd enjoy it, actually. So it seems like even through all of the backlash and negativity, Sharapova seems to have found the light and is returning to the sport in a different, more positive headspace. They say everything happens for a reason. So maybe some good has actually come from this for the sport and also for Sharapova herself. But what do you guys think about all of this? Do you agree that the ban should have been lifted? Or do you think that Sharapova should have served the full two years? And what do you think it's gonna be like having Sharapova back on the court? I'm certainly curious to see, come April, how exactly everything is gonna go down. <laughs>